Hey, it's Brian. Whoa, look at that hair. <laughs> hey, it's Brian. <laughs> Brian with Team Aquascape, we're out here in Elmhurst, Illinois, and we're doing a small little pondless waterfall. Could have actually used an aqua basin, but we're using aqua blocks instead. Allows us a little bit more creativity, get a little slightly bigger reservoir, but we got four small aqua blocks going in, and uh, we're using aqua blues, which is a stone we don't always use. It's an extremely dense stone and a little harder to work with, but uh, the end result is always awesome. The special thing about this project is we actually have two other projects going on at the same time. We were able to sell a bunch of these small little features with everybody staying home everybody wants to live that aquascape lifestyle at any level it's super enjoyable the guys have definitely beat me to the job site and got rolling let me turn this camera around and show you what they've been doing so far so here they are they've already got the old pond ripped out it's a pond they actually built themselves dug the hole put in you know you can kind of picture the coping stone here i think i actually have a picture i'll share with you right now but they've already torn this all out. We got some big, giant outcropping stone and all flagstone. Very traditional way of building a pond, but never looks very natural. It's just what the books kind of showed how to do things back then. What we're gonna do is put in our pondless tank right in this area here. Probably have to build a small little wall on the back side over here, and then we'll get that babbling brook down. You can see Nick and the rest of the guys, Corey Matt, have protected the entire area with plywood just to minimize our cleanup, all the stone is in the back of that truck and uh, got just enough in there to do this whole project. Nick, anything to say? Hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> yeah, I, saw, I noticed the tents sitting over there on the side. All right, so now that Brian's gone, we can actually start getting some work done around here. Um, we have kind of a little hole there where that old pond was. It's nice because half of our excavation is almost done. We'll fine tweak it a little bit, but we're close on that. Corey's building aqua box behind me. Matt's just getting the site prepped a little bit. So we are about to spray this thing out and get started. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Drop this timber in here just so we can retain that soil up against the fence. Pressure treated timber, not gonna be an issue there. That basin probably will creep forward a little bit. Gonna sit right in here somewhere. And then we'll have a nice split fall. That's very important to the customer. She wants a nice split fall at the bottom here. We'll work two more falls in back that way. Not gonna cover up that hydrangea at all. Put some retaining stones around that. You'll see it come together once we get that first fall in and then those other two will be smaller drops two other jobs going on right now we are trying to be the first ones done it's friday nobody likes to work late on a friday so we're gonna get this thing done it's gonna look unbelievable when we're done with it i know that for a fact so now it's just putting the words into practice let's get this done All right, so we got our fabric liner, fabric going in, and then our blocks are gonna go in. We are trying to beat what looks like rain. Now that the liner's in though, we actually have all that soil covered, so we are in pretty good shape. We also brought a few tents. Who would have thought tents keep out rain? Eh. So we're gonna actually keep pushing through this. I think we're gonna be totally fine. It's actually a nice change of pace. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. I, I guess you could throw rocks. We're gonna get, get the blocks in and then we can start building waterfalls. The four rings, go to the ringer. Matt's being proactive. Probably the only one of us being proactive because I would have waited until it was pouring rain out to put this tent up. And Matt says, you know what? Why don't we keep ourselves dry before we get wet? That's a decent idea. Look at the brain on that one. All right guys, basin's in, tents up, rain's coming down. Rain or shine. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. All right guys, almost 11 o'clock. We are rocking and rolling. We're actually doing pretty good for circumstances right now. Our whole bottom waterfall is set. The customer really wanted a split waterfall. So the plan is to get water to kind of wrap around this rock here and you'll be able to see this waterfall from that bench right there where they can sit and watch over the yard. And this one you'll be able to see from the patio, from upstairs. So really trying to change the angles and focus these waterfalls to hit certain areas of the yard. Now that this one's done, I'm kind of pulling back, working on the second waterfall here. No plan, just kind of seeing what rocks we have, seeing what fits together nicely, keeping in mind all those different angles. Say we're making good progress, that rain is really starting to come down now. So we're gonna be careful, but keep working and uh, see what we can get done in there.
you won't be stopped. What do you gotta say? Not today. Not today, Rain. We're just getting ready to back for the second waterfall. And luckily, again, we have these tents, which is keeping us for the most part dry. Once this is back though, we only have one more waterfall to build, so I think we're just gonna try and push through today and uh, see if we can get this thing fired up. All right guys, so it looks like the rain kind of let up a little bit. We are gonna get lucky. We're gonna be able to finish this today. We're racing those other guys, so I don't know how much they have left, but we're gonna try and beat them anyways. Let me show you what we got done and what we have left to do. All right, so you see this bottom waterfall. We got split coming around there. A Couple more waterfalls up there. That spillway's going in. We're starting to do plumbing. So we do not have much longer on this thing. And we are gonna hopefully be done before the rest of the guys, because I want those bragging rights. So we're gonna get going. We'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. As you guys know, plants make the world a difference when finishing up these jobs. So luckily for us, the customer had plenty of plants to mess around with today. So we're getting the plants in, we're finishing up our edges and we're about to turn this thing on. I think we might beat those guys. About to turn this thing on i'm excited super super excited to see how this turned out i'm really excited to see that split waterfall there we got a lot of these plants in this is really just finishes off this whole entire feature so i think without further ado let's turn it on This thing turned out awesome. The customer wanted that split waterfall, so we were able to bring that one tall rock in the center there, bring water around both of those. For such a small feature, it really has some crazy movement there. Nice little horsetail falls there, nice almost sheet style falls there. You get up there, you have a little pinch fall, all that water kind of right into that pool, boom, and then that nice sheet fall up top. This thing really turned out awesome. I'm really, really excited. I'm excited to see what the customer says. This thing's planted, we're just gonna do some cleanup and we are done. Done! I think it's gotta be the hottest day of the year so far, um, which is, we are sweating. I mean, you can't even tell that my shirt, it's a different color right now. But that being said, it feels good to finally be sweating like this again. This project is wrapped up. As you can see behind me, we're just gonna finish cleaning up. It's always that last 10% that sets us apart from everybody else. So we are gonna make sure this place is totally clean, spick and span. We're gonna blow, we're gonna rinse everything off, and we're gonna get out of here. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you what this thing looks like all done. Customers are ecstatic, they really love it. So that makes us feel good, like we did our job. Let's show you what we got going on. So you can see all these aqua blues. We don't get much of a chance to build with these things, but they are just the coolest rocks ever. They fit together in super nice tight joints. Everything looks good. The split waterfall at the bottom here is really, really what brings this whole thing together. They're not terribly easy to pull off on this small of a feature sometimes, but it really works here. And you can see both of these waterfalls from basically anywhere in the yard over here, the patio set behind me. So that really, really turned out great. This next fall up here, obviously just a little pincher fall and then that nice sheet fall that Juan put in up top. Plants make all the difference. We got all these plants in. She is gonna actually come in with some more ground cover here. She's actually very excited to plant this thing up. So we are gonna blow and take care of everything, clean this place up, 
and then we are gonna get out of here. I'm pretty sure we beat those other guys, which makes me feel even better, because really, that's all I care about, beating those other guys. So we are gonna get this thing wrapped up, and we are getting out of here. Thanks, guys.